Thank you for joining us today. My name is Or, and I'm leading the business development efforts in Europe for Delocal. I will be presenting today on seizing the opportunities in high growth markets. Growth markets across LATAM, APAC, and EMEA are the largest untapped opportunity in e-commerce. With over 2.3 billion users with super accelerated e-commerce growth rate, you can imagine the opportunity where lies. The challenge is that over 60% are unbanked and only 10% have international credit cards. The markets are fragmented and have their own particularities with changing landscape and more and more payment methods coming into the market. This means that people cannot pay online with traditional payment methods, but they actually do have access to payment methods for online shopping. For example, in Latin America, cash-based payment methods are very common, such as OXO in Mexico or Boleto Bancario in Brazil. Both in Mexico and Brazil, cash payments represent 20% of online shopping volumes. In Africa, for example, people are unbanked but actually have access to electronic payment methods. They are using mobile money to shop online via their mobile phone operators. In Nigeria, for instance, 10% of transactions are made with mobile money, with additional 20% done using cash-based solutions. You might think that access to the internet might be a constraint for people shopping online in these markets, but actually the data shows us that Southeast Asia, North Africa, and Latin America are not too far behind developing markets. This means people can go online and potentially become online shoppers. The pain point, as you can imagine, being on the bank, they cannot pay with traditional payment methods like debit and credit cards. They have to use alternative local payment methods. And the key word to remember here is local. It is vital to have the ability to think globally and act locally. We all know how much time and money and effort is spent towards customer acquisition. So it's excruciating to lose a potential client at the point of the payment. There have been volumes over volumes written on the need to customize and provide the best user experience when expanding internationally. So I'm not going to dwell too much on this, but I do want you to remember it's very important when you go in local and providing the users a seamless ability to make payments in their own preferred payment methods at the checkout point. It is key for success in these markets. This is another look at the payment landscape in emerging markets. And as you can see, only just over 20% are done using international credit cards. We have almost 40% done using local cards and just a little bit over 40% with alternative payment methods such as cash, bank transfers, and others, mainly e-wallet. The challenge in emerging market, collecting payments in emerging markets is nuanced and it's complex. Banking and financial, financial infrastructure is outdated, fragmented, and there's no real support for most cross-border and e-commerce models. The local payment habits are very different from what we are accustomed in, in the US and Europe, and they differ significantly from one market to another. Operating local subsidiaries requires a high investment and local presence, and as many companies choose not to do so, they reach out to us. So what we do, D-Local, we help international companies to collect and make payments with billions of emerging market users in markets such as Nigeria, Brazil, Kenya, India, Turkey, Mexico, Argentina, and many more. Being able to provide the right mix of payment method is key in order to win in emerging markets. Some of the benefits of going local that our merchants see in working with us. They gain 95% of the available payment methods an uplift of over 21% in conversion rates and enabling users to make installment payments, which is extremely popular in many of these markets. We serve some of the world's biggest innovators, such as uh, Amazon, Netflix, Uber, 
Google, Dropbox, Zara, Booking.com, GoDaddy, and many, many more. Here we have an example of Spotify who started working with us in Mexico. Enabling cash payment solution enabled them to reach 90% of the population. The user selects the subscription period and pay for it in cash. Spotify saw a hike in new paying users from the moment they launched with us. Regulation and compliance are evolving very quickly in emerging markets and most of the time without any warnings. This is more so in emerging markets. Merchants like Nike leverage local players such as DLocal to adapt to new regulations in real time. For instance, when RBI changed their security policies on international card transactions, Nike was able to maintain their sales because they could adapt to the new regulations instantly and keep the checkout experience frictionless in spite of the new security measures. Microsoft collaborated with us in Africa and recently expanded their reach in Nigeria from international credit card holders only, which is less than 3% of the population. And now they are able to reach over 95% of the population. Microsoft saw a significant increase in their conversion rates, but more important than that, they know that with the local, we take care of the local taxes and compliance. The local can handle refunds and chargebacks, and with a risk-free currency conversion and repatriation, they feel safe that they are with us. What our customers value the most? Simple and fast market entry. Without local entity, with the local ensuring local regulation and compliance are met. Local payment processing, which maximizes reach and checkout completions. Automated fund repatriation and the secure enterprise class platform with one API to cater for all of the payment methods in all of the markets that we cover. This also means that when we expand to additional markets, you can grow with us. Some examples of the locally relevant payment methods. Cash-based payment methods are very prevailing in all of the markets I'm, I'm showing over here on my screen now. And this is the look and feel of the user flow in, uh, in using cash-based payment methods. This is an example for mobile money payments in Africa. So after the user um, selects the payment method and selects M-Pesa, the user inputs their phone number and then they will receive a push notification with a link. They enter the link and input a, a, a PIN number and that is it, the transaction is completed. The, the user is notified and the merchant is notified that the transaction has been completed. Real-time payment methods are the latest trend. Um, for the UK people in the audience, you may be familiar with faster payments. So this is kind of similar in, in uh, some of the markets, we have that available as well. We have, for instance, a UPI in India, and we recently saw a Brazil launching PIX which which has the same functionality. E-wallets is also on the rise and we see the share of online payments completed with e-wallets increasing. Currently in Brazil, it's around 3%, in Argentina, 4%, Mexico, 4% as well, and is constantly growing and expanding to additional markets as well. We invite you to collaborate with the local and win in emerging markets with us. Looking forward to working with you. Have a great day and enjoy the conference. Thank you.